Have teeth like you have teeth, right? Yeah. yeah. Sometimes they're sharp and they bite their cheeks. Here, so um, you know what we do to horse teeth when they're sharp and they bite their cheeks? You cut Brush it. Brush them. Cut it. We 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 actually oh. file them. It's called floating. You know when you float float like a boat, that's uh -huh. like you're floating in the water. But another another uh, uh, definition of float is to level or smooth. In other words, a farmer, when he's out plowing his field, he floats the ground. That, you probably never read that before. But has anybody ever heard of a farmer floating the ground? What about a farmer or a, a cement mason that floats the concrete to make it level and smooth? Well, that's what we got to do with his teeth. We're going to float them. That means we're going to level the teeth or smooth the teeth. Does that make sense? Yeah. Because here's the problem. See, they have these teeth. See, they smile for us. See those teeth right there, right? Mm -hmm. Those are called incisor teeth. Those are the ones that we can see, right? When their lips go up, we can mm -hmm. see those. But they got a lot more teeth. Most, the chewing teeth are way back here. See, it starts where my finger is right there. We call them molars. You have molars too? The molars go from here, back under your thigh hole, that far. On both sides, of course, top and bottom. And then boys, boy horses have these little teeth right here. See that little tooth right there? Yeah. No, I can't. You, anybody know what that, that tooth is called right there? A canine. A canine, yeah. What's another name for that tooth? Canine. It's canine is one name for that tooth. We have canines too. But what, what's another name? It's called a bridal canine. tooth. A bridal tooth. It's called a bridal tooth. It's a boy thing. Boys have those girls, girl horses, <laughs> female horses, going to have little teeny ones, but it's mainly for boys. So when you want to see if this is a boy or not, we open his mouth. Is this a boy or a girl? It's a boy. You got it. So, so you're figuring some things out here. So now, <coughs> see that that little bump right there, that little bulge yeah. right here? See how it, his cheek bulges out right there? Yeah. If he had no teeth in his in his mouth, his his face would sink in like that. So his cheeks are resting right on his teeth. See that's the teeth that start. I can get my finger underneath the tooth right here. So when they chew, they can bite their cheeks. And if they bite their cheeks, they don't chew their food good. If they don't food, they chew their food good, it won't digest good. It won't digest it adequately. So they eat a lot of food and they don't gain weight. And that's what this guy's doing. By the way, he seems like a very sweet guy. <laughs> um, so he's eating a lot of food, but he's not gaining any weight. So if we make his teeth more comfortable, he actually chews his food better. The better it's chewed, the better it digests. It's as simple as that. So then he'll just have an easier time processing his food and he'll get more out of the food and he can put weight on better. Does that, does that make sense? Yeah. Okay, now let me show you how we, I gotta get my tools and I'm gonna show you how we do this and you get to try it. Who wants to try it? Me! <laughs> okay, we got a lot of volunteers. Do it by hand easily, but most of the time, the veterinarians and the people that work on horse teeth, they wanna do it with the power tools. It's with the power grinder, it either a, a reciprocal thing that goes this is like this or a grinder. I have some of those too, but it, they don't, you don't need them very often because all you need to do is just take the little sharp edges off. And it can be done rather quickly and easily uh, just by hand. So that's what we're going to do. Now let me see if I, I don't know if you're going to be able to see what these teeth look like, but I'm going to open his mouth. He's, see, I reached in, I grabbed his tongue. Now it's kind of dark in there, but... See on the outside yeah. of his see teeth? See on the outside of his sharp right there. Yeah. Yeah. There, see, the teeth aren't smooth on the I can't outside. The teeth aren't flat either. They kind of angle this way. They're not flat, they angle this way. So that means the acute angle or the sharp angle is next to the cheek, right? On the upper teeth, because they're like this. So next to the cheeks, the sharp angle is next to the cheek. And then the sharp angle on the bottom teeth then would be next to the tongue, right? It's on the opposite side of the tooth. So we, we make the outside of the upper smooth and the inside of the lowers. And that's all we do. We just take all the little sharp edges off. Also, the teeth aren't smooth on the sides. There's little ribs on each teeth, each tooth. Each molar is about that long and it has like three little ridges on it. So the tooth goes in and out, in and out. It's not smooth down the side. Everywhere it goes out, you see this big old thing, we call it a point. And the points are sticking in the, in the cheeks, like my fingers just sticking in their cheeks. So all those little points, when I file it on those teeth, they'll be nice and smooth. There won't be points there anymore. 
Now, I don't know if anybody, probably you couldn't all see and it's kind of dark. And if anybody wants to look, he's pretty good at Anybody want to get a closer look? look? He'll yeah. open his mouth again. You, I, I can open his mouth and you have to kind of take a peek. But if we want to open his mouth, see, I can grab his tongue. See how his tongue's right there? I'm going to reach in very gently. If I just grab hold real hard, he'll pull away. So I very gently hold his tongue. And then I don't know if you can see. Okay. See, it's real rough right there. Then on the inside down here, it's rough. So I'm going to file this side and this side. Come here, sir. That's weird, huh? Hold on, we got a little one. You want to see in there? Okay, yeah, let's show you. See how it's real rough? Here, put your head down again. Right next to the cheek there. See where my finger is? You see it's rough there? There's a file. So we, it's, just, it's, a, it's, it's made out of tungsten carbide. It's very hard metal, one of the hardest metals. And I start out with kind of a dull file because those little sharp edges I can't, if I have a real sharp file, it won't let me move the file very well. So I'm going to start with a dull file. And I'm going to, this file's got a bend on it, you see, like that? So it works really, it makes it easy to get, see how I can get to this, these first teeth with that file. But it'd be real hard to get to the bottom teeth, wouldn't it, with this file. So I'm going to use one with a straight handle. This file, I also can't get it way back underneath his eyeball. So I'm going to use a straight handle file to get back that far. So here we go. Let's we'll see how he likes this. You wouldn't like it very well, and of course wouldn't like it either, but this guy's a pretty big guy, so. See, see how I'm holding him? Like barely, right? See, look, one finger. See one finger? So guess what? what? He's volunteering to stand here and let me do this. Isn't that amazing? It's amazing, huh? I'm next! <laughs> so, here's, here's what this horse just proved, that this is possible. We're not giving him any drugs. See, most of the time drugs are used. See, I can give him what we call a liquid trainer and just kind of put him to sleep. Like, you know, pretty good. Put him to sleep on his feet, you know, where he's really drugged. But look at how good this guy's been for me. And I'm just falling away. See, my file's going right at about a 45 degree angle like this. See, that's where I'm working right there. See that? I'm working right on this tooth, right like that, about a 45 degree angle. I'm just taking that edge off right there. See the file going back and forth? And pretty soon the next one is see way back underneath his eyeball. I'm sure glad that we uh, talked into this today. He's like, oh, I'm so happy. <laughs> so what I'm doing, I'm just following all those little sharp edges off so his teeth are going to be real comfortable when he chews next time. Now, see how I'm coming across the front? So I'm taking the sharp little point off the very first tooth. You see, the teeth are too sharp. When you pull on the reins, when you got the bit in his mouth, if the bit pushes, it pulls up, if you're going to go right, you're going to use a direct rein where you pull to the right. It's going to push the bit right up against his face right here. And if, so that bit's going to push that cheek right on the sharp tooth, and if that hurts him, he's going to fight the bit. So it makes it more comfortable for the bat too, right? Does that make sense? So they can chew better and they... Do you see what his file looks like, like too? See, there's the teeth on the file. See the white? Oh, yeah. that's A little bit of teeth. White. That's teeth. The white part is... He loves it. Okay. I'll tell you what, you kids, if you're listening at all, you know more about horse teeth and what goes on with floating than probably most owners of horses, I can tell you that. Because most people don't have a clue what we're doing in there. But we just explained it to you, right? So you understand it. If you have any questions, just ask. If anybody has a question, we'll just ask about it. Okay, now here, remember I said I have one with a long? Yes, question. Okay. You want to try? <laughs> I said that you could try, but I don't think I'd better let you try. <laughs> It, he, he wouldn't, unless you know. You probably not that tall on your camera. Yeah, yeah, it's probably a little hard for you. We don't have enough time for everybody to practice is the problem. That's really the problem. <laughs> Otherwise, I admire your courage and your wanting to, to do it. That's wonderful. Really good. Yes? How fast can you How fast can I get? Horses don't usually get.